that bombs may float, even as it suits trade rail. Now I give of the Lord, companion of the rich and famous and consoler of the poor. Ladies and gentlemen, my extreme audience, listen to my advice. Drink in this year and now world. There is no guarantee that will be wine in the air after. Therefore, drink. Drink. Drink your fuel in this world today. Tomorrow may be too late. <laughs> ah. This is life. How I wish my detractors could see me now. All those who thought I would never amount to anything. Those are cynic and pontificating critics with their flatness, you brain, and a name fairies. How I wish they could see me now. As I eat and drink and relish this day, the day the Lord of Hosts has made, my moment of momentous glorification. <laughs> Praise be to our elders, those custodians of our goat bag of wisdom, who praise to God to spare their enemies. Spare our enemies, O oh Lord, spare them from every death. Let them live down to the last moment of our glorification. Let the hour of their surprise, on our vindication, render us the king of the remand asunder. Diego! As they scheme to sell us to purchase land out of the proceeds of our sale, may we become the anointed that we must buy that same land to watch over in the day and in the night. Ah, what I will give, what I will give for witnesses to this day, this day of my momentous glory, this day.
you still don't recognize me. God doesn't know it. You, you look very familiar. Have we met before? Oh, 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 where you are not to get hunter. Did I write a nice message to you? Autograph <laughs> hunter. What do you take me for? Some scary eye teenager? A groupie? Look, look again. Lord of the cross, 
slower and the master of that's in among these guys must have been grieving at himself as he watched me drop down his mind out in concussion. What? Mind out in concussion? Tell me, why would anyone want to alter the mind of the undisputed king of ultra grand? The living pillar of grace and the grand dispenser of illusion. Why would anyone want to alter an array? If anyone was asked question at this precise time, that person is me. And I can think of one burning question. Very important. A burning question here, a burning question there, a burning question everywhere. But alas, you are not Moses the prophet. And this here and now is not a bush on Mount Sinai. But go on. Ask. Ask your burning question. Tell me, why are you doing this? Do you want to know? Oh, don't play dumb with me! I am not in the mood for any frivolities. Just you remember. Remember that without me to give you a life of context, you would have been nothing. No, not nothing. You would have been worse than nothing. You would have been a mere idea. An idea that is devoid of form or flesh. Is this what I get in return as a way of gratitude? You ungrateful Frankenstein. You monstrous, monstrous, almighty oh, and benevolent creator. My lord and master. Giver of life to the lifeless and form of the formless. I have come today before you to demand my inalienable human rights. Power and the Power to the people. What power? What human rights? In case you have forgotten, let me remind you and your vulnerable sympathizers that you are nothing. Nothing but an ordinary character. An ordinary fictional character. Trapped in a book of plays. Bound between forms or back cover. In essence, you are a twice bound character. A mirage brimming with water. Gosh! What is this country turning to? Whoever here of character demanding human rights. What insult? So, what would they leave for flesh and blood human like you and I? And you, smart Ali that you are, if you are to demand for something, shouldn't it be character rights? Character rights, human rights, gender rights, animal rights, call it whatever you wish. A rose by any. Hey, put the crap! Put the crap! Ladies and gentlemen, it is not enough that he demands his human rights. Now he wants to put his spirit on me. Verily, verily, I say unto you, somebody must bear for this challenge. But life or life, I will see to it, even if it's the last thing I do before I die. Tell me, who is behind this? Who inspired, sorry, instigated you to this revolt? Who bribed you to break out of the home I constructed for you with tender, loving care and craft? Oh, tender, loving care and craft? Is that what it looks like to you? A home built with tender, loving care and craft? the arrogant son of a bitch. I better watch my nouns in case there are brown burning feminists in the office. A man commits me to a prison like a good for nothing criminal, but stands before you as his witness to relay it a home. A home filled with tender loving care and craft. I wouldn't want to see the home he built with tender loving gate. And as if that were not outrageous enough, he wants to know who inspired, who instigated me to this revolt. Do you know what your problem is? Of course! Go ahead, tell it to the audience. They are waiting to hear it from the office. Ah, well, I was stupid enough to create a self absorbed foe like you. Underestimation, that is his problem. Always people underestimate his 
opponent. Imagine him asking me who is behind this. Who has a prisoner who has taught me to seek freedom? A fast throat. Does it not seek out water? You know some people should know that. When General Baby first imprisoned you, didn't you dream of freedom in every imaginable color of domination? When you had a moment of the seven evil spirit condemned the best man, didn't you dream of his demise in every national language? Talk and choose, let me finish! Was it not the dream of the broken chains of freedom that kept you alive in winter bottles from the island? When did you have been out condemned with pinnacle and rape Oh! Now that the shoe is on the other foot, you have the temerity to ask me who is behind this. Well, well, well. All hail the freedom loving builder of prisons. You no, know, that's not fair. That's not fair. Writers are not jailers. We are creators. And for your information, our characters detect exactly how they want to be represented. They take on a new life of their own once we begin to write them. We are Democrats! Democrats! How dare you? How dare you wrap your filthy tongue around, around the word Democrat? We are Democrats! Remind me, since I seem to have forgotten, remind me, you, yourself, and the Democrat that you are, when did you ask me how I wanted to be represented in your play? Or better still, tell the audience. When did I give you the permission to assign the corrosive power mounted pepper hawker to me as a wife? Characters controlling their writers indeed. How about your tricks of selecting and rearranging critical details to achieve your desired effects? Not to mention the rearranging that goes on during rewrite after rewrite. Only in the interest of the logic of the fictive design. The fictive design. Who's fictive design? Writers, of course. My point is. And by the way, why are you the only one of my character who is not content with his or not my books? The last time I checked, everyone is doing just fine. So you think? So I know. In that case, check your latest books. Check okay. your favorite books. Oh, uh, all my books are my favorites. Like my children, equally gifted, equally loved. Oh, how come these days I no longer travel? In your hand luggage. How come whenever your checked luggage is misrouted, I am also misrouted? Some may call that the love of the draw. The love of the draw, my foot. Remember when I was your one and only book, and I traveled in your hand luggage next to your travel document and your education? Now that you are a big short writer with many books to your name, I have been renegated. Renegated to the checked suitcase. Relegated by the first division team, kicked down to the third division. Relegated by the first wife, kicked out of the master's bedroom to make room for the new wife. But I am not jealous. Don't forget that only a foolish new wife forgets that the wig with which the bachelor of the husband used to make patterns on the back of the older wives is in the rafters, waiting patiently for when the new turns still. Why am I saying all of this? Why am I casting bells at a swine? Swine? Who are you calling a swine? Who are you calling a swine? Have you looked in the middle of it? Imagine who is looking like something the cat grabs in. So rich that even the government come with the for the next one. Watch how you rant and pray, otherwise you might feel a blood vessel. Remember, government doctors are as right. Big time doctor that you are, you know you cannot afford private school care. Let's not get political. Go on, check your books. Check your latest books. The one you brought in your hand luggage. The one you earmarked for the spotlight tonight at the award ceremony. Oh my God! Read God out of this! Thou shalt not take his name in vain, for he had nothing to do with thy destruction. 
You humans are ever so predictable. God is the ultimate landfill into which you consign all your problems. You follow up on your own, but proceed to suck for somebody but yourself to blame. If it is not God, then it is Eshu. His messenger. Notwithstanding that all Eshu ever does is hold due to the logic of thoughts and action. What is the meaning of this? We have all my characters gone. I'm in John. John Doe. Oh, you are done. Tragedy most foul. Tragedy. Tragedy for who? Ah! Tragedy for who? Not for who? Tragedy for me, of course. Ah, me. Ah, ah. Why is everything always about you? What about us? You could We your characters. Exactly. That is exactly what you are. Characters. Fictional characters. Mere fragments of my fertile imagination. Wonder of all wonders. <laughs> Beyond those surrender, do you realize how much you are beginning to sound like me? How dare you? How dare you, Mr. Mr. Deliver? I? Emmy? Beyond you? Almost Emma, I could sound like you? I don't you forget yourself. What's that? That's and if anyone should sound like anyone, it is you who should sound like me. Stranger things have been known to happen. Put it down to the too many years of hearing you reading and reading me in the audience at work and abroad. I have learned from you the best of the best. You had my life fixed, sealed, and locked with the language of time, and I have unlocked unsealed and unfixed it with the language of Shakespeare. I have killed and eaten my creator and mentor. I have come of age and inevitable consequences of the anxiety of freedom. Isn't that um, what um, your friend is blowing out of for you? Don't forget, the boat that keeps the company of a stray dog for too long soon learns to eat shit like the dog. With time, the leaf in which the black soap is wrapped soon becomes indistinguishable from the soap. Miracles of associations. But never mind who is sounding like who. Ah! Never mind who is sounding like who, not who. Abba, director, relax. Another grammar lesson. Let's focus on the crisis at hand. Bad grammar is a crisis too. Oh. If you say so, if you say so, you are the Adoba Who of Norwich. Who am I to argue with me? But, tell me something. Would you rather negotiate with one who is a mere figment of your imagination? Your fertile imagination? One who is twice bound, first between the beginning and an end, and then the front and the back cover, negotiate as in talk with and or to each other. Isn't that what we have been doing for the past 30 or so? Stop feeling! Room is burning! Oh, alright. In that case, which one of the two of you would like to negotiate? And what's that supposed to be? We are asked to agree to negotiate. Who will I negotiate with? Emperor Nero. Oh, Mr. Fiddler, you know, can't you get serious for once? Like this? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I must warn you up front. This business of negotiation, I can only speak for myself. I have no mandate to speak for my, for my fellow characters. This is a spontaneous combustion. It neither has a leader nor followers. Oh. A play without a lead character. How very unorthodox. Say, does it at least have an author? Of what use will that information be to you? So we need to solve the problem at hand. So I will know who to kill for this public disgrace and embarrassment of gigantic proportion. Kill? You are beginning to sound bloodthirsty like the butcher of Abuja. How dare you? How dare you mention my name in the same sentence with that venom? That beast of no gender, that monster of no pedigree. Huh. I wonder 
you wonder or you wonder. He's the one. Is it? That very viper is the one rearing his fangs to strike in my dominion of my path of glory. That's him from the epic center of hell with his two harmonious horns and razor sharp tail. He is the one to speak to unleash his hell on the day of my carnival. He is the decomposing mighty spoiler that has come to compose a day on the day of my celebration. He is the brother killed joy. Who could never find joy in the happiness of others? Stop fronting like an epileptic midnight robber who has forgotten to take his medication. How will a general who does not know how to read or write be interested in enticing your characters out of the book? Even if he so desired, how will a moronic momo like him begin to know how to execute such a master plan? Mr. Biodo Soreme Kung Esquire. Isn't it strange to you that it is the supposedly imaginative writers like you who are oftentimes the most unimaginative when it comes to the day-to-day -day realities of life? Yes, go on! Go on, abuse us! Abuse us! You foul mouthed fool! But I don't remember hearing a single thing out of you and a memo stupid convention of fictional characters when we put our life in a line to protest the carnage of Abuja. Why is you so hard to be self big large in between hard or soft cover in the self same habitats you now only too quickly call a liberty asylum? Why is you accepting about your position in the center of political attention in the university home and abroad? Come on, come on, shout it on the rooftop. Now that the maximum leader has lost the mode of all election. I mean, the mode of all election. But I was supposed to tell Hey, let me finish. Let me finish. You accuse writers to be unimaginable. I wonder how I manage to create the likes of you and your fellow rebellious Rifra, so that today you lead a revolt against me. Which, according to your own small testimony, your leader created and inspired. If that is so, how may I ask this your locusty, talented, and supposedly well dressed imagination? I wonder whose jeans are now teeming with abuse. Who is now the insult dispenser? Like who? Grandchild to Afonopia, the merchant of verbal venom? What happened over the place? Storms and sleep can break my bones, but words cannot harm me. All I ask is one simple person. Who is the monster behind this grievous plan against literature? Grievous. Crime? Who is the mastermind behind this character of this scheme? Do you know the full import of this story? If this high tech food is not neat in the board, do you realize what that will mean for the business of writing and publishing? Let's be clear. Writers and publishers will kidnap each other characters well in name and poof. Someone or many ones will run out of business. Imagine. Imagine the epidemic of character napping that will sweep across the world. Imagine the plight of reader who will halfway through a book, the Jesus, discover that their favorite character has been the people, the provider of the book. Imagine. Imagine the distress that will cause to be reading public. My concern is for such distress humanity. I am not a self-centered, stage-hugging peacock like my competition, Mr. Alkenos. What a minute. He's the one, isn't he? He's the one behind this mischief. Mr. Alkenos, why not? Every misfortune that befalls our hair breath, heavy, deep meat with the tables. Don't they blame it on Mr. Antinos? Oh, brave. Blame him for your misfortune. Mr. Follow, follow. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Follow the leader. Attention, attention. Open your hands, close your hands. Can we go together? <laughs> if the military could play, who is you not to play? Joe is a joke, but your cat is a pretty girl's name. Are you that serious? By Judas, by force. Oh, yeah.
yes, 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 yes. Let's get serious. So, Danny, <coughs> why would Mr. Anthony knows want to do a stunt like this? He's a fine writer, a fine agitator, a wine connoisseur, and then a fabric to the ladies. Why would he want your character who are manifestly less colorful than his? By the way, isn't he your friend? And what does friendship got to do with this? This is a cutthroat profession, especially when prices are involved. And besides, the one with the nose as huge as his cannot be trusted. He always aspires to soak in more than his fair of hair in the world. I get your point, I get your point. But aren't you saying to yourself that he is the only fine writer who is capable of pulling off a coup of this magnitude and complexity? Don't mention cool, so free battle. Some drunken private in some obscure African country might interpret such a reference as signal to inform his foreign markets to declare a coup. And I think what's the one? See what my annoying has done to me. All I was saying is that he is the only writer with the imagination, organizational skill, and willingness to pull off a thing like this. But I'm sorry to disappoint you. He did not do it. Uh, are you sure? Very sure. Do you mean I'm sure? The man has enough of his own troubles to contend with than to bother about your funny successes. And by the way, it was not Shabay, the dire African from the Caribbean. Dire African. Which dictionary did you get that word from? Dictionary? Why was it come from a dictionary? D-I-A from the word diaspora plus African equals dire African. Q-E-D. Quite easily it done. Quite is it done indeed. I create you and one and you create your own world. Oh, your logism. Isn't that uh, what you swallowing as well as call it? This is getting bizarre by the second. Not only does he know how to call his own word, he also knows the technical jargon for what he has done. Yes. The circus monkeys perform three can things. Anyway, QED is a Latin word. And it does not mean quite easily done. It means quadrat demonstrandium, which means that which was to be demonstrated. Oh, outside of uh, lawyers looking to rip off their clients. And professors looking to impress some steady eye judges. Who cares about the dead language? Oh, dead language or no dead language? These two remain behind me to patent your dire Africa before some American smooth operative claims it as his coinage or was still misspelled it as dire Africa and advance it enough as reason to commit justice at African people. I believe you know the meaning of genocide since you know the meaning of neologism. <laughs> oh, never mind. Let's return our gaze back to the subject of your revolt. So, if neither Mr. Anthenos or Shabin is the monster behind this nightmare in a nightmare, could it be Albert? Did he let loose the people of battle behind my characters? You see how nasty and personal you're getting? How can you refer to a man by the name he has publicly disavowed? Oh, oh, oh. So you think because he abandoned the name he shared with the Queen of England, therefore he must have been the one who caused your character to abandon you? Biodo Soremeko, this is not a Harold Peter play. Albert had nothing to do with our evil. Why would a man who has enough of his own character to form a dissenting republic want with your characters? Believe me. Believe me, I know that man. You cannot get a trick past an old kisser. It's as real as a tortoise. Albert had nothing to do with our evil. And if I were him, after the stench that just pulled out of your mouth, I would kill us both you and your ragamuffin character. Ragamuffin character? That my characters are some of the most colorful in all of literature. It is not for nothing that I have 
been favorably compared with some great writer than I saw. Especially since you held that comparison alone by embracing the diminutive version of your first initial to make your contrived initial sound like Bernard initial. How dare you insinuate such a beaver? Piatu is only diminutive of a Piatu known to mankind. It was not a choice. Anyway, the comparison between myself and Bernard Shaw has nothing to do with Misha. It has everything to do with my reputation as a hiker on stage. Oh. You see why, why others were busy bringing themselves and proclaiming themselves beautiful? I was busy living, living for the world to see how wondrously beautiful I am. I have no desire to get into any argument over which BS is greater than which and why the BS has been equated to that of financial BS. I cannot do that. Anyway, for your information, this is not a hospital to me. Alright? I am under no adjunct to adjoin the reason why you have to this. The fault was not in our staff. This was exactly how I found you. Wasting as a bellboy in some out of the way excuse of a hotel. Had I modified your reality, you would have been the first to accuse me of dishonesty. So, I left you exactly how I found you. As the brother insists. Arisha, if you cannot make my life better, then leave me exactly how you found me. I cannot adjoin the adjudicator different to why you have been doing this, brother. Okay? Tell me, let's move our gaze back to the subject of my inquiry. Which illuminations are you talking from? Do you think you are some African dictator general or life president to appoint and disappoint some of the commissioners of fire? Illumination and illusion is either here or there. What I ask is I answer to one simple question. Who is the monster behind this character of this scheme? It's so difficult to ask. I, I know it's not a time to lie. He is there and I'm aware of it. And to paraphrase his memories. He is the one is it? No! The memorial is the mighty preacher! The dead and raya? No! The memorial is the mighty you are preacher! You are all dead, you are dead! I have no more clothes! Look at me! In case you have forgotten, no judge is going to allow me anywhere around their courtroom with this clown clothes you have decreed for me. Every prize I won was another you couldn't win. And just wretch, just wait. Just wait till I get my hand. Run this excuse over there. Duro, are we on the same page here? Which big me are you talking about? What do you mean which big me are you talking about? The one I love you. The one who mounts dinner table to deliver after dinner speech so guests at the end can hear him. I can think of more than one contender for that. Can you think of one whose big head sits on top in pyramid the body? Me think that thou has just committed rebel or slander. I hope you have your court clothes long down. Oh, give me a break. Give me a break. Court clothes here, court clothes there, court clothes everywhere. In case you have forgotten. I am no stranger to your suit. My eyes have seen the vastness of the ocean of litigation. Look upon me. Brave words. Brave words indeed. Brave words bravely spoken before the commencement of battle. But the cruelty of a warrior emerges only after battle, not before. So tell me, to which dwarf? Oh, I am a writer and an illusionist. 
I don't name my loot. Uh, let's move on. Time is money. Oh, yes, yes. Time is money. Not for a monkey swinging endlessly back to branches. Time is money. Knowledge is power. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, you inform me. Inform me with the answer to my question about the potential master behind this grievous crime. Was it Chichidodo? Chichidodo. Chichidodo. The bear that hates excreta but feeds on the one that grows out of it. Was it he? You think he's so dumb as to commit such economic anarchy? Without your characters to um, inspire his perilous thoughts. Would he move from one season to the next? Oh. It was not the one time thing. Oh. How could I have been so naive just to suspect men? Ibadera. Oh. Vindictive Ibadera. You, you mean to tell me you don't know him at all? If I, if I, if I, what's that? Not what, who? Excuse me, sir. Do you know Ibadera with the heavy padded bus? Ma? Do you know Ibadera? The axe within which I believe. What did you do when she made a move on the husband? Mr. Yusuf, do you know Ibadera? A.K.A. Madame Cortis, A.K.A. Master, sorry, A.K.A. Mistress for the Behavior. Who here does not know Ibadera with the heavenly padded bosom? Who does not know Ibadera? The redeeming generation of whose wear in that backside makes many a man through like babies. Who does not know Ibadera? In whose embrace mother prays their male children never to fall. Are you done with your pain to Botan power? I'm sorry to disappoint you again. It was not the bad guy. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. What do you mean I'm sure? What do you take me for? The enough? If, if such a woman as you have just described had come to me, even in my dreams, to request you, you have my participation in a group against my creator and mentor, wouldn't I have remembered? Wouldn't I have placed Images of a generation notion to be placed on the on the lighted walls of my memory. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Stop sounding like a, a radio talk show host with plenty of airtime and nothing of hands and to say, let me master, let me go give you that word again. You're definitely in a moderate mood today. One cannot understand metaphorically anymore. This one are things that bad. Metaphorically, as in your metaphorical excitement of a whole nation against a protest in a big election. Don't go there. Don't go there. I was tried, acquitted, and discharged of all counts. How does that change the truth? How about the gun running? What was the metaphor in that? You of all people should know that that was my enemies at work, busy planting soon seeds of rumors about me. It was just a toy gun, a stage plot. Oh, okay. You want to blame me for the ineptitude of the well-trained police officers who could not tell the difference between a toy gun and a real gun? Please, let's move back to our serious subject of the moment. Why the hurry? I thought you were under the impression of a going back to your heroic exploits. Well, just a little touch. Oh my drum! Oh, oh sorry. sorry. Oh my drum! Push on then. As long as you do not beat those drums of yours into shreds. Boom! Boom! Beat it to shred. Boom! Boom! Beat it to shred. Hallelujah! 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 The concubine has beat it to shred. Hallelujah! 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 Oh, the Lord! Like the Lord. The general in uniform of Madariga is a big liar! When it comes to blasphemy, I say about the men of the cloth and the men of the God. Um, why is that for the arts? Because they are merchants of fire and brimstone. God they are, and Fatwa is their merchant of choice. 
I am only a calabash dipper by the motion of their self And my calabash dipper cannot drain their ocean dry. By the way, I, I was under the impression that you were ready to go back to the subject of your fire. Well, if you insist, no fat worth hearing, no chest, no shadows of a character. Oh. Those who fight and run away leave to fight another day. Philosophy of cowards. And by the way, why did you not disappear from my books like my other characters? And miss this once in a lifetime of seeing you sweat like a bitter kid ram waiting to be slaughtered? Miss this opportunity of seeing you confront your destiny? Death by drowning is the destiny of a streamer. Death at the hands of women is the destiny of a philanthropist. Ironic death is the death of Eva to the Saka. Do both of us the favor. And stop mouthing those in name proverbs and name the priest of that behind this character of this kid before I lose my temper and stab you. But you are almost there. Why do you want to spill an innocent blood? This means it's at the tip of your nose. Quit it out. Save yourself the stress of a still best thing. Think. Use your imagination. After all, you are the only one with the brain and imagination. I'm just some old loner. Your world, not mine. You are the beginning to get on my nerves. With your matadori ah, ah, ah. You are getting closer to the answer to your riddle. <laughs> the first it was the prince, and now Mara. Maradona. General Donko Maradona. Aha! Commander in chief of the SSS fraternity of this level. My lips are sealed. It's not in my mouth that you will hear that the king has two horns under his crown. Rovers are the palm oil in which unpalatable words are made straight. Rovers are the forces of speech. When the word goes astray, we send Rover to retrieve and bring it back home. Rover! Oh, yeah, it's okay! Oh, you go! Divine for Olofia, 
when the Nobi was preparing to send his son to whom? To the world to help open up the grave of life. The groom was warned that he would be unable to accomplish his mission due to the evil eyes of the world. The groom was warned never to take some wine from strangers. The groom was warned to beware of the brightening light bouncing off the heart of men with daggers hidden in their togas. Ogun was asked to make a sacrifice against ill health and sudden death with a ram and a single chain ring. A single chain never breaks. Ogun listened and he heard. Ogun heard and he obeyed. Ogun carried the proscribed sacrifice and offered to the sheep at the crossroad in the dead of the night, and all was well with him. It is well, it is well with my soul, with my soul. It is well.